The American actress Amber Heard yesterday in court tearfully described the first time Johnny Depp allegedly slapped her. It was the first time Heard has spoken in the ongoing multi-million dollar defamation case. Heard is today giving evidence again on day 15 of the trial, up until now the court of public opinion, has seemingly been behind Depp, especially amongst young people, especially on social media. Uh, the question now perhaps is whether Heard's testimony will begin to turn that tide. Joining me from Los Angeles is Paul Dudridge, host of the Politics People podcast. Paul, welcome to you. It's been a re real feature of this case. I've not been following it closely, but I have uh, picked up conversations around my own dining table, teenagers following it and, and following it firmly in the Depp camp, to my surprise. That's right. And right up until yesterday, basically. Look, it's terrible that we're even talking about this, but it's just gossip now, isn't it? It's great. But the, I will stick my neck out at this point and say I do not think Johnny and Amber are going to be getting back together. So I'm prepared to stake my reputation on that. But yeah, up until yesterday, everybody was team Johnny. And now after a day and a half of tearless sobbing from Amber, I'm, I'm, even I'm on the fence now. It's, uh, she did pretty well. There's a lot of body language experts coming out and saying that, no, there was nothing behind it. She, she's not sincere. But I don't know. I think she was pretty effective on the stand yesterday. The stories, you know, the, these kind of stories ring true when they're very, very prosaic and very basic and very mundane. And the slap, which we can't make light of, the, 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 the first time that uh, she claims that she was struck by uh, Johnny Depp came after her making fun of his Winona forever because he'd previously previously dated Winona Ryder. He'd had his Winona forever tattoo. Instead of having it removed completely, he had it changed to Wino forever, and she oh. laughed at that. And uh, for that, she received his uh, his physical lashings out. And so. Um, it is sounding very, very plausible, I have to say. What's really fascinating is that, it, as in all stories these days, J.K. Rowling's involved. It, it's all happening on JK, a boat that J.K. Rowling bought, bought off him. This was all the the, the, the yacht that uh, Johnny Depp owned. He yeah. was about to sell to J.K. Rowling, so they took one final trip on it. So she's everywhere. The uh, I read one of the tattoos had gone from had been modified to go slim. It's slim to scum to scam. I mean, that, that's clearly a theme running th through this this trial. You're, you're right to make. The, I mean, we can be. We need probably you know to be a little bit po faced about this, don't we? Necessarily, we are talking about allegations of domestic abuse. They are serious. That that's that's a given. Um, I just wonder as we looked. You probably didn't see them, Paul, but we were looking. And apologies for our listeners on radio. At some of the footage from inside court. Is this a, is this now ranking as one of those courtroom dramas? Up there with, well, I remember sort of the, the, the infamous Louise Woodward trial, but even um, some of the ones that oh, followed yeah. all the way through to Michael Jackson. Is, is, it, is it, dare I use the phrase, is it box office on that scale in the States? Very much so. Very much so. It, it's, it's pushed all other news off the front page. And considering, you know, we've just had the, um, the, the leak of the Roe v. Wade uh, announcement. The very fact that this is actually going toe to toe with something as monumental as that story gives an idea of the gravity that it's being treated with here. And, and again, we've talked about this. Um, we've touched on this previously. It's to do with the fact that this stuff is available. They must have 20 years ago, these people wouldn't have gone to court for this. But now this is just another part of their entertainment portfolio. So it's actually a valid performance from both of them for no matter what the content is, the fact is we are talking about it. They are taking up headlines. You know, you don't, you don't sort of judge fame anymore. You weigh it and, you know, they are front page. Yes, it's a huge story over here.